welcome back to the channel and today we are in the instruments of destruction workshop looking at some more crazy creations starting with Demacurus prime and this is a creation made by miguel oh and this has a beautifully laid out series of controls here that i'm very looking forward to pushing buttons and seeing what happens every game where you can just build something and keybind whatever you want needs this this is awesome Got all this custom stuff so you know exactly what you're doing so user friendly there we go Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 it runs. Oh, it actually runs. This is not a walker. This is an all out runner. It, hold on. I'm not trying to destroy yet. I'm just, I'm trying to turn around. You're just in the way. Excuse me. <laughs> it doesn't have a backwards. It only has a turn left and right and go forward. All right, space is to jump. So let's go ahead and jump. Ooh. Oh, we can double jump. Uh, rocket boots? Rocket boots? I thought it said rocket boosters at first, but it says rocket boots. All right. Oh, we are Iron Man. This is awesome. Okay. Well, we're off to a really strong start. Uh, let's go back towards the land. Man, this is, this is so easy to use. The programming in this game is actually, like, super powerful. It's way over my head now, but, uh, what people are able to do with it, pretty awesome. I clicked the basic attack button. Oh, there we go. Whoa, it alternates. The same button changes whether you're doing right or left. All right, let's use a basic attack on a building. Basic attack. Basic attack. Basic attack. Imagine, imagine somebody fighting you and they, they yell basic attack whenever they just throw like a normal punch. We have a laser uppercut option. So right, let me get close to this building. I don't know which hand is gonna be the uppercut, but let's see. Laser uppercut. That's not what I was expecting. It makes perfect sense now that I've seen it, but it is not what I was expecting. Laser uppercut. You, the swords become lasers and you do a two-handed uppercut? That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna do an atomic leap on this building, I think, maybe, I don't know. All right, number two, atomic leap. This, we started off too strong. I should have built up to this thing. I think we started off a little bit too strong here. The laser swords, they're not just laser swords. They're flaming fire atomic fire swords. Okay, uh, I need to, I need to respawn. Okay, up next is the hell sweep. Uh, I'm, I'm done guessing what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna push buttons and see what happens. All right, activate hell sweep. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, wow, it has range. I got both of the towers. All right, and then rush. You can kind of guess what that's gonna mean, I think. Oh, we're charging up. I love the programmed special attack animations. All right, and then let's uh, activate rocket boots and fire uh, fly through this building. All right, or I'll just, I'll just bump it, I suppose. And atomically. <laughs> I love how he doesn't have any type of epic superhero landing. He literally ragdolls into the ground instead of having this like epic landing, which you would expect after that jump. It's building up to something epic and then he flops. He just flops. Here, let's get a let's get a good view of it with nothing around. <laughs> okay. All right, we gotta move on. I got some. I got a bunch of other creations to look at. We can't waste too much time here. Oh, this is how you do the. Th this is so cool. I've never actually opened this up before. And new label. Wow, this is awesome. Up next, oh, it's laggy. Just spawning in a robot sixteen by unknown. I don't think I've looked at this one before. I uh, know. I think I looked at robot 15. So we're looking at the upgraded. I'm like, I recognize the name of the person who made it and I recognize the name of this, but we are looking at robot 16 by Puddle. Last time we, worked at, we looked at robot 15. So let's see uh, where we've gone since 15. All right. So we've got an eight legged robot. Let's go ahead and watch this thing walk. Okay. It scoots. It's a scooter. Get it. I mean, it's not a, it, now that now the word scooter sounds weird to me. It scoots across the ground. What is E? Oh, okay. Whoa, that is epic. That was like really epic. R is for first person. Whoa, what kind of first person is this? Okay, I don't even know why do you need to aim this thing? Did you see what just happened? All right, what about that building right there? Ready? 
Wait, does this actually shoot something? Oh, we're loading. Whoa, it has a recharge. It does shoot something. Hold on. I got to go into slow motion after this thing recharges. Here, but if we're going to be in slow motion, we might as well have some buildings to watch get destroyed too. All right, let's go down to 10%. Let's go into first person and let's watch this in slow motion. Here we go. And fire. It's like the spirit of the buildings have left their body. Like the way that some of the buildings are here and then just parts of it are just like this... The frame of the building just leaves while the rest stays behind. This is so cool. Like, this this right here is just a treat to watch. I'm going to start turning the speed back up. It's so cinematic. That was amazing. All right, well, that was definitely an experience, a first-time experience for me. I don't, oh, oh, hello. Hello, Cable. I no longer think I've looked at this creation before because I feel like I would have remembered that experience. Okay, up next, we have a Zeppelin. This Zeppelin is created by Fiji. Conk West the Air. All right, altitude. Here we go. Easy altitude control. Let's just turn the altitude up. Oh, I love how it just stays at the altitude, whatever altitude you select. Oh, it has strafing. And then there's yaw. Apparently there's a bomb bay and bombs. Oh, then look at the, the propellers there. All right, this we're strafing quite a bit. I'm gonna go up more. I wanna drop these bombs. All right, R for Bombay. It has an alarm system, that was awesome. All right, uh, and then F for bombs. Oh, okay. It's just just like that, that's all, that's all it is. It's actually a super like tame instrument of destruction. This is like an, if, it's the, if an actual Zeppelin uh, dropped bombs, I feel like this is the most realistic creation we've ever spawned in this game as far as the destructibility goes. There we go. Yep. This feels like an actual realistic bomber Zeppelin. You got to appreciate something that's not world ending and apocalyptic. Like you do not get that very often in this game. And it's kind of nice when you do. All right. Up next is the Swarm 2.0. And this is by Isoy. I-H-S-O-Y. Sorry, it's a capital Y. I had to say it a little bit louder. That's where the accent is. I just It's Yoshi backwards. All right, I'm just going to call you Yoshi backwards now. So I think I may have looked at the original swarm. I It sounds familiar, but I'm going to have to see what happens. Oh, 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 this is... This just gives weird... It feels weird. It just feels weird to control. It's like, who am I controlling here? I know I'm controlling all of them, but... Who am I really controlling? Oh, you can call them all back. Oh, oh, with our powers combined, we are actually harder to control. Okay, all right, all right, all right, wait, wait, no, 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 stop. Turn off, turn off. How do I, I can't turn it off. I'm ascending, I'm ascending into greatness. Uh. Oh, wait, did we stop? Oh, oh, we're no longer, okay. I've, I've, I've blazed my own trail. I'm creating my own life. I don't listen to nobody. All right, I'm not sure what happened there. When I press T, we all come together. And then when I press T again, that happens. Oh, okay. All right, come back, come back, come back. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see, I'm seeing, I'm getting a little bit of how it works now. All right, and then everybody return, return. Oh, this is epic. This is kind of epic that you can just... The, the the variety of destructible things you can make in this game is actually pretty cool. It's not just a bunch of weapons. It's not just a bunch of black hole generators. Like, you got this thing. You got this thing as well. And then, you got this thing. It's a ballista. This is a ballista by Bierman. Obliterate any building with an absurdly strong crossbow firing a comically large steel ball. All right. Wait, is this actually like... Oh, no. This is a magnetic ballista? Oh. <gasps> These are magnets. I was like, are the, is this gonna bend like a ballista? But no, this is uh, this is just magnets that are gonna pull. I'm assuming what happens is these, all of these magnets are gonna pull it really fast to right here. And then it has a programming when then all of these mag magnets are gonna push. Let's press a button, Q. Whoa, I actually felt it go under tension there. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta watch this again. Q is to aim, okay, then E. 
This is actually more realistic than I was expecting. I mean, it is magnet based, but it appear it, it has the concept of applying tension and then releasing that tension. So let me let me go down to slow motion here. So what happens when I press E? Wait, why isn't it working? Now? Oh, oh, well, oh, okay. Oh, it does not work in slow motion. Oh. Okay, so the, the speed controls mess it up, apparently. But, I mean, I think you guys can get the idea of what's happening here. Basically, uh, when I press E, this stays attached here while the magnets activate. And you can actually see this joint flex as the magnets pull. And then it releases. So, here we go. There we go. You can see the joint flex, and then it releases it. And then it just completely destroys the buildings. Magnetic ballista. I, I really like that that idea. All right, up next is the T6 Profit. This is by Pointy. Omnidirectional movement. You can cycle weapons. Okay. It says it might bug out, but let's see what happens here. It looks pretty good to me right now. All right, so there we go. And it goes backwards and then turning that way. Yeah, it's strafing. It is awesome. That is really awesome. All right, so now we can aim. That's okay. That's not what I was expecting for aiming. I love the head design using a thruster like that. Oh, the aiming also has once you once you reach the limit of the left and right torso uh, articulation, then it proceeds to automatically rotate you. That's really interesting. It's just programmed that way. Toggle gun. There we go. Wow. Okay. I untoggle the gun, and if I press F again, I toggle the other gun. So now I can aim. And then R to fire. Feels like a nice, realistic level of destruction here. And it charges up too. Actually, look at the gun animation. The gun has like a built-in animation in it. Ready? And then it charges and reloads just like that. That's epic. All right, let's swap guns. Wait, what happens if I press fire when I don't have a gun pointed? Oh, I got laser eyes. Okay, you can see the back glowing thing indicates that my head is now the thing. Okay. All right, and then the other gun. There we go. Oh, this one glows on the side there. That's pretty cool. And then uh, fire. Oh, it's a shotgun. Look at that. This one doesn't have an aiming reticle because it's, you know, a little bit more of a spread. All right, man. This, the programming is just getting crazy in this game. Yeah, this thing looks creepy. I don't know what it is, but just torsos on spider legs... It's just creepy. But if you're going to build spider legs, make the rest of the thing spider-like. Okay, up next is something massive. Look at this. Look at this. The San WP-011. This is by Cooper0109. This is probably one of the bigger, like, tank-style land vehicles I've seen. Oh, my goodness. I'm... Oh, oh, there. Oh, look at this gun. This gun looks great. That looks really cool. What is Q and E going to do? Okay. Whoa! 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 I think I was supposed to anchor myself to the ground first. I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know what I did. I broke it though. I definitely was not supposed to do it that way. Oh no, it's like it's permanently broke. It's doing this all the time now. All right, hold on. Respawn in. I'm not gonna press anything. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? All right, well, we did destroy the entire island. Um, unfortunately, I cannot gain control of this thing. It seems to have glitched out. All right, up next is a massive looking mono wheel. This is Tech Wheel, and this is by Dr. Boom Ultra. A wheel, that's cool. All right, let's see how cool this wheel really is. Oh, I love the LED programming. I mean, that's enough. That That's, you, that's all you really needed to show. Anything after this is a bonus. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, oh, that's not what I was expecting. Just this part turns. The whole rest of it stays the same. We got spinner rims, or anti-spinner rims, rather. Okay, this thing is clearly not an instrument. It's not built as an instrument of destruction. This thing is just for, uh, just to be a wheel. It is just a cool wheel. All right, there we go. Does it actually turn the, oh, it does turn a little bit. All right, and then it staples out and then turn that way. The turning radius for a single wheel is pretty small. Okay, if you go slower, it goes, it turns better. That makes sense. Look at these flex light. Man, that must have taken, this must have taken a long time to program. I'm assuming it took a long time to program. Every single one of these is programmed in like different logic. Up next is Tricerabot, a super cool looking Triceratops by Gonzinator. An awesome walking trike. 
Ooh, Drake robot? What? As swimming functions? I don't think Triceratops could swim. All right, well, oh, 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 I'm in, I'm in uh, fast mode. Hold on. All right, now normal speed. There we go. Wow. Wow. I'm really surprised at how this thing walks. Whoa, this is so cool. It uses these pistons on sliders. You see that? That's awesome. These legs are look awesome. What? Okay. Uh, there's so many buttons to press and see what happens. All right, we got turning. A. Oh, E is to open the mouth and Q is to close it. Nom, 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 nom. Nah, nah. Shift. What? It does that? That's cool. Arrows. Oh, look at the head articulation. Whoa, this is like some of the best head articulation I've seen. What does R do? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, everybody poops, okay? Not everybody's poop is as explosive as this one, but hey, sometimes you eat the wrong thing and uh, you can get a little bit spicy in there. That is hilarious. I love that. All right, uh, I'm going to go try swimming now. Oh, left control must be the swimming because I was just getting more thrust. All right, so left control. Yep. When I press left control, it just moves me better. Look at this. He's so happy. He's, he's gobbling up some salt water. Probably not that great for him, but... All right, but this is still Instruments of Destruction. So let's do a quick, uh, quick test here. All right, here I come, buildings. Ah, uh, ready? Oh, there we go. Right at the last second, I realized I can actually use my head articulation to ram with my horns. Wait, wasn't it supposed to have... Oh, left control is the charge mode. There, I remember reading something about charge. So yeah, that must have been what it meant. Ah, uh, I love the... And like, the face looks so good. Ah, oh, look at him. He's dancing. He's celebrating his uh, destructive victory of destroying humanity. Reject humanity, return to dinosaur. All right, up next, another massive tank looking thing. This is the Moving Fortress X9001. And this is by Walter White. All right, this thing seems to have a lot of special features. Oh, wow. This might be like the coolest looking tank I've ever seen in this game. Oh, look at the exhaust when you go. That's awesome. Oh, I am so excited to press buttons. What are we doing? What is this? Oh, dang it. I don't know what I just did. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What is happening right now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, what? What is this? Oh, oh my goodness. This thing is a whole transformer. There's more buttons. Like, what? Okay, hold on. If I just press Q, I can swap all these different gun modes. Oh, and then, okay. And then I can aim each gun individually. All right, what, maybe F is to fire. All right, and maybe G is to fire the big one. Oh, it charges up. That's awesome. Oh, R is first person. That's kind of cool. So E transforms and then Q becomes something different. Let me let it finish the transformation again. Because I know that there's more to this based on the pictures I saw. Look at that. That's awesome. Now Q switches to this thing. And now I've got to actually... Oh, no, no, no. All right, come back out. All right, ready, ready, ready? F. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's charging up by itself. That's so cool. And there it goes. Can I aim this too? Uh, not really. That's amazing. Oh, and there we go. All right, we're coming back. We are coming back. That whole thing folds out. It's so cool. All right, this might actually be the coolest tank I've ever seen in this game. That was awesome. All right, I got one more for you. Did I look at this one before? I don't know if I looked at this one before. This is the Advanced K9 Assault Unit. I don't know if I looked at this before. Oh, look at the spiky tail and the spiky things. Everything is spiky. All right, oh, okay. We're just gonna stroll along. We're just strolling along right now. Oh, we can open up and close the mouth. Those are some blocky teeth. Those are some very blocky teeth there. All right, maybe F to fire. Okay, there we go. We can fire there. We can aim the head up and down. All right, G. Whoa, do you see how instantly that opens? Look at that, that's crazy. Oh wait, can I, I can retract. I can like retract and extend my tail, I think. Yeah, and then I can retract it. I can actually control my tail length. All right, T. There we go. That's pretty cool. Shoulder cannons are... Oh, 
Oh, oh, what's happening? Why is it only in one ear? Whoa, that was cool. Hold on, I gotta get closer to buildings and do that again. Was that R? All right, you ready for this? R. That's a cool, just d a attack animation, I guess. Like, it's not really like the thing itself is animating, but just like this thing building up and then the sound of that shockwave is so cool. Right, left shift. Oh boy, oh my good, look at, we have sprint mode. Oh, that is so fast. I'm trying to slow down. I went too much. All right, I gotta sprint into the building now. Uh, here we go. Wow. Okay, that's my favorite. That is that is my favorite right there. The sprint animation is so good too. Wow. Have you had your minds blown again? Like people built this. People, just regular people who have the. Well, they're they're not actually regular people. They're, they're people with an insane amount of time and dedication on their hands. People put the time to put all these pieces in here and then program everything up. So which one of these creations did you like the most? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.